everyone, it is Audrey and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today I'm doing a very exciting video because it is all about the new year, how to reset your life, change your life, transform your life in a positive way, and just get organized for the new year. So I'm going to be talking about my goals, what you can do to just get prepared and organized for the new year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. I think it's really important to not only just set goals but to just put them in action right away instead of waiting for the new year i know this is a reset for the new year video but i think if you have goals start being productive now and get these habits started and created so you can continue them throughout the year so one thing that i'm doing today is i woke up early and immediately as i got out of bed i put on a new cute gym outfit this is from gymshark I got it for Christmas, I love it, and I'm going to eat a little snack and then head to the gym. Going to the gym is something I love to do, I used to be like super super consistent with it, and since like getting busier I've definitely slowed down a little bit, so I want to get back on that grind and go to the gym every day because it's something that just like gets me off my phone and makes me feel so good, so yeah, I'm excited to go to the gym. Okay, so I just got done at the gym. I just got out of the shower and the next part of this video is to clean and declutter your space just so you have a nice fresh start. Having a nice clean room that like you enjoy being in I think is just very nice. It's like peaceful and I just like it and my room has been a mess since Christmas. I still have not <laughs> put all my crap away so I'm going to quickly clean up my room and just get rid of any of the things that just make my room more cluttered and makes it less peaceful and happy to me. Now it's time to make our mood board. I love making cute collages with inspirational pictures and I've had the same one for a long time now on my computer. So I want to make a new background with quotes and pictures that are kind of like my vision for the new year. So I decided to make my mood board on my iPad. So I just opened it up and scrolled through Pinterest and downloaded a bunch of inspiring pictures that I have found inspiring and just what I envisioned for my year to look like. And then I made a new board named 2022 Inspiration where I saved all of these pictures. And now I'm going to go through my own camera roll because I want to include some pictures of my friends and stuff and just people in my own life who I love and want to see all the time. So I'm going to do that now and then we're going to make the wallpaper. So on my iPad, I have an app named Procreate where you can make a bunch of collages. So I use that, but another good site is Canva. It's free and you can make it on your iPhone or your computer. So yeah, I just rearranged all the photos into the order that I wanted and then I exported this picture and you actually have to export it as a PNG and then you can set it as your background on your computer and I think it turned out so cute. I love all the pictures and it's inspirational but still personal to me. Okay, so I just set the background on my computer and I love how it came out. I think it's so cute. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for my iPad background. 
Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is do some journaling. So I'm going to do one little journal entry of reflecting on 2021, what I accomplished, what I could have worked on, what my best memories are, just stuff like that. And then I also want to make one for my goals for the next year. So for the reflection one, I was like, I don't really know what to reflect on. <laughs> so I just looked up end of the year journal prompts and I found this website. I'm gonna go through this and just make a cute little journal prompt idea and then I will show you guys. Okay, so here is the final journal reflection for 2021. So I picked five questions to reflect on. So I did, what did you accomplish this year? How could you have been better this year? What was your mindset like this year? Best memories from this year? And how did I grow this year? So I'm gonna sit here and write about this and just kind of think about my year. I just finished my 2021 reflection, which I feel like was awesome. I just answered these questions on my iPad. Obviously, you can do this on a bullet journal or paper or anything, but I just got this iPad, so I wanted to use it. But yeah, this was so fun. I reflected on this year, some of my good memories, some of my bad moments, and I think it's really important to do that at the end of the year just to think about how you could have been better, what you accomplished, and it kind of makes you realize how much you can actually do as one person. And it can also just motivate you to do better for the next year. Okay, and for the last part of this video, I'm going to be talking about my goals that I'm setting and just talking about my goals to give you guys some inspiration for goals you wanna set or just inspire you. So when setting goals, I think it's important to only set a few. Don't be unrealistic for yourself. Set just a few goals that you think you can actually achieve and you really wanna work on, not just like broad, work out more, travel, like, you know what I mean? So I think having some like defined goals are really good. So my first one is to become more consistent and casual with my social media. This past year, I kind of took a break a little bit and just adjusting to college, it was kind of hard for me to like stay consistent and stuff with my YouTube channel, but I definitely want to get back into everything social media more this year. So stay tuned for that. Next, I want to incorporate my friends and personal life more into my social media. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> Whenever I'm doing something fun, I don't really film it just because one, I do like to live in the moment and just like enjoy the moments with my friends and not annoy them with always like having to film stuff. But at the same time, like I wanna show you guys these things and it's fun to look back on. And I think it just will make my videos a lot more entertaining, honestly, instead of just me. Because honestly, I feel like I'm more entertaining when I'm with people anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to become more like relatable and casual and incorporate more of my personal life into my YouTube channel. The next one is balance. So by this, I mean that I just want to balance all aspects of my life more. So I just need to balance my school, social media, friends, my boyfriend. So I just want to do all that. So I'm like focused on my school, focused on myself but also still having fun and like hanging out with everyone. So yeah, I definitely wanna work on that because it can be very easy to just like get wrapped up in one thing and it's important to just do all the things that are important to you. Next, a little school related one. I wanna get all A's and B's, which I did this past year, but I just want to keep that goal for me and stay motivated with school. Next, I have eat out less and spend less money. I'm really bad at spending money on food, but I definitely want to save up money. I have saved some money over winter break and stuff, but but I want to make it more pri more of a priority to just eat at home and eat at my sorority instead of going out sometimes when I don't like the meal. And then the last one is to prioritize myself more. I think this is something that's hard when you have like friends, I have a boyfriend, so 
you know, you always want to be like, okay, I need to see these people, these people, like I have a bunch of different little friend groups. So sometimes it's hard to just like balance everyone and see everyone and make everyone happy. And then I'm exhausted at the end of the day. So I just want to like prioritize myself, have a little self care nights and get the stuff done that makes me happy and yeah so those are all my goals i'm super excited for the new year i think it's going to be a good year i have a lot of exciting things coming up a lot of travel plans so yeah i'm going to be taking guys along and i hope you guys have the best new year ever and i will see you in my next one bye